everybody, welcome to Simple Art at Home with me, Laura Houston. Today we are going to be folding two different styles of paper airplanes. And then we are going to make a chart and predict how far we think they will fly. And then we're going to go outside and test them and see how they do. You can choose however you want to measure the flight of your paper airplane. Uh, you can use a ruler, uh, this is called a tape measure, but really you could even just count your steps uh, with your shoes toe to toe. And I'll show you how to do that when we get outside. So now we're gonna go on over to the table and I'm gonna show you how to fold some paper airplanes. Let's go. Okay, the first paper airplane that I'm going to show you how to make is this one that's kind of long and skinny and sleek. It's more like what I would call a jet paper airplane. I just colored one side of my paper with a crayon just so you could see the folds a little bit easier. You can see what I'm doing. So the first thing you're going to do is just take a regular piece of paper and fold it in half the long way. So it's like the hot dog way, sometimes we call it at school. Okay, so it's folded right down the middle the long way. And then I'm going to take, this is going to be the, the front, the nose of it. I'm taking this and folding it right here. So at the edge is right along that line, okay? And then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on this side. So this is the, this will be like the nose of the airplane. And so, so far it looks like this, okay? And then I'm gonna take the same fold and I'm going to repeat it and fold right to the edge again. And it's all very symmetrical. What you do to one side, you do to the other. So now I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing here. You could probably find um, all kinds of videos and instructions on the internet, or you could also pause this video and watch it again. So it looks like this. Now I'm just going to take this one more time and fold it down. Again, this is where it gets a little hard because the paper is thick. So I'm just folding it on top of itself again. And then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on this side. Okay, so now this becomes the bottom of it, but it looks like this. So when you throw it, you throw it this way. But you can see it's very um, sleek, like a jet. Now I'm going to show you how to make the second airplane. Fold the paper in half, and then open it back up. Take the corner and fold it right along the line. Take the other corner down here and fold this along the other side. Now we're going to take this part and fold it up, but stopping here so that there is about an inch of space. Now I'm going to start with this corner over here, and I'm gonna bring this corner up, but not all the way. I'm stopping here so there's a little bit of space, if you can see that right there. There's space before this tip. And here's where it gets a little difficult because you're folding paper on top of paper again. Take the other corner and fold it up to match the other corner that's already there. Okay, now take this triangle and fold it right over the top. And we're going to kind of hold it down So this is a strong piece right there. Now we're going to take this top part and fold it, we're going to fold it down, but you're gonna fold it to about where this, where this corner is here because that's the stiff little section right there on the airplane. So we're gonna fold it down and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Take this side, this corner, and fold it right here, like at that mark right there. There, okay. So we're practically done. So when we open it up, you can hold on to that little 
place right there that you fold it over. Now here's where you can decide if you want to fold the wingtips up a little bit. You can experiment so you can keep it like this or I'll show you, you can fold the wingtips up just a little bit and see how that flies. And then when you're doing your test throws, you can try folding the wingtips down and see if it changes. Okay, so there you have it. So before I test out my airplanes, I want to fill out this table here. And it says plane number one and plane number two. So I'm going to go ahead and label my planes. So I'm going, you can do whatever you want, but I'm gonna make this one, the first one we made, as airplane number one. And I'm going to make um, this one, we'll call this airplane number two. Okay, so we're just going to make some predictions. So I predict, so which, which plane do we think is going to go um, farther. Well, um, I'm just going, just looking at this plane, to me it just looks sleek, it looks faster. Um, I predict, I predict plane number one, I think this one will go farther. And I think it's because it's, it's, um, the body of it is, is longer. And the shape is uh, like, we, we call that sleek. It's got like a sleek shape, okay. And this one I predict, um, I think it will not go as far. So it will not fly as far. It has a like smaller body shape. So it's smaller and it's wider, wider. So that makes me think that it might not travel as fast, but who knows? These are just my predictions. So I'm ready to go outside and test. So this is airplane number one and test throw number one. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna go toe to toe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 steps, and now I'm going to record it on the chart. Airplane number one, and this is the second test throw. Airplane number one, test throw number three, last one. Here we go. Okay, airplane number two, test throw number one. Oh, wow. 32, 32 steps. 32, I'm gonna go write it down. Okay, airplane number two, test throw number two. Here we go. All right, here we go. So I would say 27 and a half for the second throw. All right, airplane number two, test throw number three, last one, here we go. All right. So I would say 21 steps for the third throw. So on average, um, airplane number two uh, flew farther, flew more steps. And you know, it's so interesting. I don't know exactly you know, why that is. My prediction was wrong, but that's why we do testing um, in science. So maybe it has to do with the breeze outside or the folding of the wings, the width of the wings, but I had fun with this and I like it when I get surprised and it doesn't come out the way that I think. I hope you have fun folding and testing out your own paper airplane. I know I sure did. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time.
I'm gonna start over. Um, I think today. Sorry. <laughs> or did you make? Uh, if you. I want to start over. <laughs>